Hi everyone, welcome to our vlog. This is part two of our two part travels up and back down the Montgomery Canal. And we last left you after visiting the Navigation Inn at Maysbury Marsh. So we cruised on the boat down to Grunwin Wharf and winded the boat, turned around and headed back up the Montgomery, back to the Langoughlin. Yes, Ziggy, welcome back. And on this, we actually feature St. Winifred's Well, an ancient uh, site and uh, well worth a look. So hang on for that and you'll be able to see our little tour across the muddy fields. Right, let's get on with it. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. services so you can top up with water, empty your cassette or your pump out. You don't need to do any of those I don't think. So onwards and upwards. Ready Z? Ready? Good boy. Yeah we're ready to move off our morning at Maysbury Marsh and head down to the bottom as far as you can go, the navigable bit. Gronwyn Wharf and then turn round and come back up. So let's get going. Yeah, so it is bridge number 80. See the trip boat on the left there. The cafe, shop, tea room, even accommodation. Just started opening again the last few days, I think. So, right. Listen to that bird song. coming underneath and then over there as you can see a little stream would you say some sort of waterway and culvert yeah so we've come through the lift bridge we're just going this is all called Gromwin Wharf I think there's the bridge beyond which not navigable for power boats just the trip boat I think goes down there and kayaks etc so I'm just going to come here and do a bit of reversing I reckon successfully 
left in the bridge. Just to pull through. Try not to upset these ducks on that wooden piling or whatever they call it. Let's go over to the right. There are meant to be some kingfishers which hang out around here. We haven't seen them yet again. Keep looking though. We'll keep looking. Oh, it only seems like five minutes ago we were coming past here. Oh, actually it was five minutes ago, yeah. My memory, eh? This is Ziga's favourite squirrel hunting spot where he normally leans on that 45 degree branch which is broken off and looks in that tree and barks his head off because he saw a squirrel go up there when we were last on the Montgomery Canal, can you believe? Wow, look at this beautiful view. Now the sun's just streaming down just before it goes below the horizon, warming everything up. And yeah, I think that little bit of arm coat at the front there looks as if it'll do the job for us for one night or maybe two. Well, we're off to St. Winifred's Well. Is that right, Ellie? That's correct. And somewhere over the field here, Parked up here, just past the winding hole. We're just going to go to the bridge and then across the middle of the field. Lots of sheep here, so Ziga will be on his lead. And uh, see if we can find this particular ancient site. And what's so special about this ancient site, Ali? Well, it's a place that people believe you can go and get miracles. Um, there's a medieval well chapel built above a ancient spring and there's three pools uh, where the spring still flows into it today. And it goes back to the 7th century. Uh, St Winifred was a Welsh princess sworn to a life of chastity and um, she had one of her pursuers got angry with her so she ran away to take refuge in a church. In the 12th century, her body was taken to Shrewsbury Abbey and pilgrims came to benefit from her healing miracles. She was much loved by people in the area and so that's why there's still a tradition of people going to the well here at Woolston. Onwards and upwards, let's go and find St Winifred's Well. Here she comes. Oh no, she's got to take a photo of it. Oh, look at that pose. Zig, what do you think? Yeah, on with the job, yeah. I reckon so too. Yes. Down the middle of the field, is it? I presume so. Yeah. It is. Yes, and it's pretty muddy in the public footpath as you can see well we've given up worrying about mud and water well I have anyway the only thing that hasn't happened is water go over the top of me wellies but I'm sure that might happen hey off you go let's get going Zeke good boy just follow this head, she said, and you can't go wrong. Oh, 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 oh. She hasn't seen you in action. I can't help you. Sorry. What? What? Yeah. What? Well, I'll come in and we'll both get marooned. Oh, Ellie's. Oh, she's got the knee in. Well done, Ellie. <laughs> Right, through the kissing gates. Ziggy doesn't like those kissing gates. He thinks he's going to get trapped in. Right. What you see. There it is. Hmm.
Ooh, that's a Zigster. Hello, Ziggy. Yeah, there's the well. I'm just going to show you. It's actually built over the well. So, let's see. There's the actual well under the building. The last success we found St. Winifred's well. Let's have a look up here. And there it is. It's in all its glory. Very interesting it was too. And if you fancy a stay at the St. Winifred's well, you can stay it with Landmark Trust. Book it through them. And you can stay for four days. I think they usually do a th um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And it's booked up most of the year. You can take your dog. And a very tranquil spot to stay it is. And here's some of the photos we took during that muddy, wet trip and walk over to St. Winifred's Well. Well worth a look though. And hopefully it won't be so muddy when you get to do it. Right, we better get back to cruising up the beautiful Montgomery Canal. Come on, buddy. Well, here we are at, uh, well, in the middle of Aston Locks. We're just about to set off up the Montgomery Canal towards uh, the Western Arm and then up onto the Langothlan Canal. We've got our passage booked between 12 and 2. And you know what? It's the first day of spring, so let's have a look. See if Ali looks spring-like. First day of spring! Yay! Sun's up there, blue skies. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a cloud in the sky first thing this morning, but we'll take a bit of blue sky. But yeah, a little bit of a nip in the air. But yeah, it is only the first day of spring. You can hear the birds singing. Can't hear the... Yeah, Ziga's excited about coming on board. And look, you can hear the sheep. No, I can't really hear them. And I can't even see the lambs are springing. No. Anyway, let's get this engine going, shall we? Ooh, that's working. That's good. You coming on board, Zig? Here he comes. Right. Let's go. We're going up to the top lock here at Aston. And then we've got a bit of a cruise until we get to Graham Palmer lock further up. And we're meant to be doing six miles today. I can't see it, to be honest. Oh, six locks? I thought you meant six mile. We're doing six locks. Well, I'm not. I'm just sitting there at the back, aren't I? Just controlling the tiller. Anyway, right. Onwards and upwards. Well, when we get up the Franklin Junction locks, we're going to turn right onto the Langoslin and head north and hopefully make it to Tetchell today. Yeah, a lovely spot here, nature reserve down there on the right. And uh, we've still got the fields here with the sheep and a bit more forest and waterway on the side here. We've got a few little ponds and things. So yeah, a lovely spot to stay for a couple of days. And very quiet. Yeah, so Ali sorted the first lock, emptied it out. There we go. I'll give you a bit of a... I love those overflows, I don't know why. I think it's because I like waterfalls. They remind me. So here we go. Yeah, and that's the busy A5 just going overhead us. And not far away is the British... Ironworks Museum with all those sculptures which is well worth a visit
right, and here we are at the Perry Aqueduct. So yeah, there's the aqueduct. And there's the little river going underneath it. We just pull up here for the moment, do a few things, then we can cruise on to the western arm. A few green leaves appearing, a few buds on the branches here. So it's now being spring from today. I presume we'll start to see lots more of that happening. And uh, we've been getting a bit of uh, solar power. We're getting up to 100 the last few days when the sun's been out. So that's fantastic. How we can change in a matter of seconds. Well, that wind's gusting now. Glad I got my hat on and coat. Just when you think it's warming up. Yeah, Ziggy's sitting there so good, aren't you, Ziggy? Until I moved, of course, and then he's moving on to have another good look over there for the school. Sort of 360 there. Now we're on our way up the last part of the Montgomery Canal. We've had a phone call from CRT from Gavin, ask if we're coming up, and we certainly are. So I'm going to ring him back now and tell him. Well, that's Frankton lock number four done. Well, he's had to give that some stick to get it open. Eventually it played ball, didn't it? Now we're into the staircase lock, which has got two parts, I think. It's all ready for me to cruise in, go from there. Hey, Pabes. See problem. you again. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Well, that's us done with the Montgomery Canal. We loved it. That's two visits we've had of two weeks each. And yeah, we absolutely loved it. And our next stop is the beautiful Val Hill on our way down the Langoflin Canal. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, click that like button. If you'd like to subscribe, we'd love you to click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know when the next one's out, click the bell. Thanks for watching everybody out there. Stay safe. Bye for now.